muscle loss and aging. We're going to talk about real quick here why muscle loss is obviously not good as you age. Muscles, the muscles in your body, you have to be active and keep them stimulated and you have to either make them grow or maintain what you got. And you do that by act, being active in some type of fitness program, you know, or doing something to keep them muscles activated to where either they're maintained or growing. What, what usually happens most of the time is that as we age, we stop being as active as we once were and the muscles start shrinking. You need these muscles to expand and grow or be enough or maintain enough so you can get around. Your muscles are what gets you up off the couch. You know, these are the muscles in your, in your legs that gets you up. These are the muscles that get you around walking. These are the muscles that allow you to pick up stuff. These are muscles that you need, especially as, when we start talking about getting up in age. But the problem most of the time is a lot of time with age and the reason it, that muscle loss hits so fast and so quick because most of the time the situation is the individual never really worked out anyway, not as sitting at 75, 80 years old, and the muscle loss has, has just really set in. The muscles have just shrink, and they're either on a walker or they're in a wheelchair because they have no muscles to get them up off the sofa. That's what gets you up. The muscles is what does that. But when they shrink, they shrink because you are inactive. They're not active. They're not working. You're not putting pressure on them. You're not forcing them to expand. So use it or lose it. Remember that? And that's what happens. You lose it. And then if you add in flexibility on top of that, which is really bad, not good, and you put that along with muscle loss and effects flexibility. Even if you had a little bit of muscle, we just, just can't even bend over and say, oh, that's about as far as I can go because you have no flexibility. You don't stretch, okay, for example. And that's a problem right there. That's why as you age, even before you get there, you got to start doing something to take care of yourself. One mile down walking to your neighborhood in the morning and one mile back will change your life. You don't have to go in the weight room and try to become a bodybuilder. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being active, physically active, walking. Get out in the yard doing yard work or whatever you want to do, lawn work, whatever, whatever you want to do. Squat down, working them legs, keeping them legs busy uh, into a fitness plan. Like, like I said, a lot of time would happen, we retire. When I retired, I kept on going several, several years ago. And I'm a senior too, but I kept going. I know when we're tired, sit around, you no know, remote control, and just, then that's it. No, oh, no, no, oh, no. That ain't going to happen. And you shouldn't let it happen either with you. Again, it leads to walker, wheelchair, no flexibility, and won't be able to pick up nothing. That's called inactivity, and then your muscles go into inactivity. They just start shrinking, shrinking, and shrinking until there's nothing there. And you can be sitting down in a chair and somebody's going to have to help you get around. Get into your fitness program. Start stretching. I'm master fitness. I'm a senior. Home workout YouTube channel. Click on there. Subscribe. Join me. Ride with me. You ride with me, you'll be in shape. Because I'm right there with you as far as probably age-wise. But, I, but uh, I'm not going that way. I'm going that way. So if you want to join me in going that way forward, I can help you get there. I can help you get there. This is Master Fitness, the Belden, Bubble Machine.